Hey guys, what's going on? It's Coach David. I'm here at OTL Fitness, uh, the gym I just opened up about two months ago. And uh, I know a lot of you come to the gym, a lot of you know me, uh, whether it's personally or through Facebook or through Twitter, whatever platform it may be. Um, something came in the mail today that um, really means a lot to me, especially with, with what I'm doing. And uh, for those of you who've known me for a long time, especially people like Patrick and Tyler, um, you guys know that fitness and running a gym and training and changing people's lives uh, is something I've been passionate about since seventh grade. Uh, going on from seventh to eighth grade, my seventh grade year, uh, sixth, seventh grade year, I got picked on all the time. Uh, I remember literally throwing up so I did not have to go to school. Uh, I remember it vividly. I was in the kitchen with my dad. He was trying to prep me to go to middle school, and I wouldn't do it because I was so damn scared because I got picked on all the time. With that, between my 7th and 8th grade year, um, I started working out. You know, I had seen fitness growing up. My mom had taught me so much about fitness. And when I was uh, just a little kid, she would bring me to her 5.30 a.m. aerobics class. Uh, I remember doing um, toe raises on our, on, our, uh, on our chimney at our house. And uh, my dad had a bench press outside. He was a state trooper as I was growing up. Um, fitness was just always part of our family. Yes, you know, we did and maybe not make great choices as far as our food goes, but fitness was always there. And as I grew up, I just fell more and more in love. And then that summer between my seventh and eighth grade year, um, I knew if I didn't want to get picked on anymore, I had to start taking fitness even more seriously than what I was at the time. Um, Patrick Heffernan, a good friend of mine, uh, we hit the track, we hit the volleyball courts to do sand sprints, we hit the hills. Uh, I bought, my parents bought me a cheap Sears weight set, and we put it upstairs, and we worked out so hard. And by cheap, guys, I mean it was one of those skinny bars. You had to basically roll on the, uh, the clip to the, uh, to the weights. It was awesome, though. We worked out so hard, and fitness was instilled in me completely. Uh, I knew that I was going to live this life forever and ever. By the time I was in high school, my freshman year of college, I graduated high school within a year after turning 18. Um, I had already had my first personal training certificate from the Cooper Institute in Dallas. I spent an entire week there, slept in the dorms, and studied and studied and studied to pass this test. Uh, you know, being the youngest kid in the program, I knew that I had something to prove. I wanted to outdo everybody on the test, and uh, I passed. 18 years old, was already uh, had my personal training certificate, didn't even know what to do with it. Um, being a freshman in college, I was at Howard Payne University. Um, some of the classes, I would sit down with the notebook and I would draw what I wanted a gym to look like one day, all the time. I mean, this happened almost every single day, and I had this book of uh, just different things that I wanted a gym to look like. And I don't have that book anymore. I wish I did. But the gym I have now looks nothing like the dream gym I had, but that's not the point. Um, I kept instilling myself and getting further and further into different industries of fitness that were growing. And, and uh, you guys know that I, I was involved with CrossFit early in my fitness growth, um, getting into USA weightlifting, USA track and field coaching. Um, I did all these things because I wanted to absorb as much information about every realm of the fitness industry I possibly could. Um, graduated. Graduated college in leadership. Um, loved it. You know, leadership to me is one of those things that every entrepreneur that I ever read about, leadership is huge on that list of the things that you need in order to be successful. Um, I didn't take leadership to be an entrepreneur. I took leadership because it was something that really meant a lot to me. Why? Because leaders are always important in people's lives. I had leaders in my life, from my family to people outside my family, and what they instilled in me was great. And I wanted to learn what it was about leadership and what, it, what leadership really meant. Graduated college with leadership, um, and I went to work for a great company, CrossFit Central. Um, I learned so much from all the people at CrossFit Central, from um, the owner, Jeremy Teal, all the way down to the people who mentored me, Coach JDP, Coach Travis Holly, they taught me so much. But I remember a single night talking to my mom, talking to my girlfriend, and it all I got comfortable. I got comfortable where I was. Not a bad comfortable, I was just comfortable. And I always told myself I would never let myself get comfortable what I was doing. I was talking to my mom, telling her, you know, this is just how I feel. I've had this passion for so long. I'm not just this guy who all of a sudden, you know, did a few workouts here or there and whatever. You know, I ran on the track a few times like, this is what I'm going to do. It's something I dreamed about my entire, you know, the past 10 years before that, all the way up until seventh grade. Um, I loved it. And, I, and my mom said, David, stop. Stop. 
You're not going to convince me anymore. You're not trying to convince me. You're trying to convince yourself. You either make a move or you don't talk about this ever again. And I kept going on. And she said, no, stop. We don't want to hear it. Make a move now or, or always be where you are and don't bring this up again. And I knew she was right. And I made that move. Here we are, OTL Fitness. Um, you know, I'm so blessed, so grateful to be here. Um, you know, being in the front lines, guys, I, I talk about the front lines a lot on social media platforms, Facebook and Twitter. Being in the front lines was brought on by Chris John, a, a young kid from UCLA who went to fight in the front lines. Um, uh, where was he? I cannot remember exactly where it was, and I don't want to make up a name. Um, but this frontline living of being in the middle of change, seeing the change firsthand. I don't want to just be an owner of a gym and then come up to this gym later on and the people not know who I am. I always expect everyone here to know who I am, regardless of what changes come in the future. Uh, but that's you know something else, guys. What I wanted to, uh, or what brought me uh, to t making this video today, I'm waiting for uh, two guys to come in for body comp. I got this from the office of the Secretary of State today, and uh, it is basically my Of The Line Fitness LLC certification, or certificate, sorry. Um, you know, and that, guys, is like, <laughs> there's so much more to this business than this, and I know that, you know, Of The Line Fitness is going to take more work than this little piece of paper is ever going to help me out with, um, but it's just a, a stepping stone. It's a staple in what it is that I'm doing. I'm here for these people that are at this gym, my athletes, my future athletes will be here. Um, you know, and I can't express that enough of how much I love what I do. Um, yeah, it's hard sometimes getting up at, at 4.45 every morning to cook breakfast and then be at, at the 6 o'clock class. I'm not going to lie. It's hard sometimes. But you know what? The passion that I have for what I do burns so deep that uh, I won't miss a class. I, I've even had instances where my alarm doesn't go off, but somehow my body knows, boom, you need to be up. And I'm up and I'm over here. And, and the 6 a.m. knows and the 7 p.m. knows that the energy that I carry from 6 a.m. is going to carry on to 7 p.m. no matter what. Yeah, there will be a time when I may not be the coach of all those classes, but I guarantee right now I put my word on it that no other coach will ever step floor in the OTL Fitness Gym unless they're equivalent to the energy that I can bring to these classes and, and they know that they can provide the highest quality training to anybody in here. Um, so, you know... It, it, to me, this is, is so special, something that I will never uh, regret and, and nothing that I'm going to try to take advantage of. This is what I've always wanted to do, and I appreciate everyone out there who has supported me. I especially appreciate those who haven't supported me, even though there's been very, very few of them, if any at all. But um, you know, there's always those people out there, and I thrive off of both sides of that, people who support and people who don't support. But I will tell you this, guys. If you're doing something every single day, um, make sure it's something that you completely love. And, and this is honestly something that I completely love. So thank you again, guys. Coach David, OTL Fitness. Um, more of these videos to come. I just want to be authentic and transparent with you guys. This is how it came about. This is what it is. Got my new staple in the business right here. And, uh, you know, Monday classes, I can't wait for you guys to get here. And uh, you guys keep crushing it. And if you ever have any questions, you guys know, you can give me a call, email me at any time. Coach David, until next time, guys, we'll talk to you soon.